Lindsay Clancy, the mother accused of killing her three children was arraigned yesterday, from her hospital bed. She is still recovering, after jumping from a second story window. However, many are saying that after the arraignment, they have changed their mind about why Lindsay Clancy did this. Prosecutors have explained why they think the killings were planned. I was just as shocked to hear that. They say that Lindsay suggested to her husband that they order dinner from 3V restaurant in Plymouth, and searched online to see how long it would take him to drive there. At his wife's request, Patrick Clancy left his shop at CVS and picked up the takeout. However, when he got home, it was deafening silence. Lindsay allegedly told her husband that she heard a voice, and had a moment of psychosis. Journal entries on her cell phone and in notebooks found in her home detailed Lindsay's daily activities, mental state, and medication use. The writing was clear and gave no indications of hallucinations or delusions. The defense argued that Lindsay was over-medicated, but her husband says his wife took her medications as prescribed and was never on more than four or five at a time. She was only taking three medications at the time of the killings. Inside the home, they found what defense attorney described as a wish face to be filled with wishes written on scraps of paper. These little pieces of paper that talk about Lindsay's wish for happiness and health for her children, that she could get pregnant again, that she would be able to be with her children. The judge ordered not to set monetary bail, but Lindsay needs to be held at the current hospital until she is cleared for transfer to another facility. Lindsay is due back in court on May 2nd.